Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 6, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Anth for Longmont Public Media. I can't get my own name right. Wednesday, September 6, tonight, first quarter moon, sorry, last quarter moon in the early morning sky. Got to get up early to see it. The sun finally kind of quiet. We got a couple of sun, smaller sunspots, but nothing really big or rough facing Earth right now. Just as a heads up, first day of fall is Saturday, September 23rd, just after midnight, so kind of the 22nd, 23rd. Looking at drought conditions, we're going from what you see here, a little bit of rough stuff in the south central mountains, to a little bit of relief. It shrunk and some, some of this uh, moderate drought also decreased. So some monsoonal rains have made it into these areas. Nationwide, the drought from New Mexico to Texas gets a little worse. Upper Plains get a little worse, and up in the northwest, a little worse. So everything else kind of staying the same. Friday p.m. Um, look at this smoke here. Uh, I don't believe the model. <laughs> it is extremely hazy out there with air quality alerts. And both the uh, RAP, RAP model, and the HRRR, um, show the smoke to our east and clear air over here so something is a little off and the models are not picking up a uh, good thick amount of snow uh, smoke coming because I, I couldn't see the mountains driving in for precipitation really dry this week over southeastern half of the state northern mountains got a little bit more I was up in Estes and we got some good hail we got uh, just about hail every day and some uh, small stream flooding advisory so water did come but not over a lot of the eastern plains looking at the severe probabilities we won't go too much longer into the season on this map but here we are into july august first and second week of september still possible a notable amount of uh, severe weather will show up i think we get um, left off the map uh, next week for the actual severe weather chances, we have nothing nearby. They're out to the east of Colorado, a little closer in Nebraska, South Dakota on Thursday. And for Friday, we can have at least a chance of thunderstorms from just in the foothills out onto the plains. Looking for Wednesday, high and dry, old cold front gone and we're heating up quickly. For Thursday, that's all gone. We're peaking the heat again and same with Friday very warm so see the about four days Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday of high temperatures um, actual temperatures are getting up to the 90s so the ensemble is not getting that extreme the actual high temperature climatology goes from 82 to 77 that's a very rapid drop and look at this normal nighttime temperatures from 52 to 48 <coughs> this cold front comes in on Saturday afternoon and Sunday and beyond are below normal for seasonable temperatures and we have really good chance of rain for a couple days into Monday Tuesday look at the water vapor satellite image a little bit of moisture in the mountains but the monsoon flows cut off we got this uh, thunderstorm complex or probably evolve into uh, I think it's Hova J-O-V-A. Uh, look at that tropical system soon. Um, we've got a front draped over the um, Midwest and there's a tropical system coming out of the far Atlantic. So for Friday a.m. the heat is really there. We've got the ridge almost on top of this. I could have drawn that a little further west even. Just big dome of high pressure that's been making us roast for many weeks now. Here comes Hurricane Lee, just in the past few minutes as I record this, it got upgraded from Tropical Storm to a uh, Category 1 storm. And we got this big high pressure system over the Baja. has been pushed down. We're getting northwest flow and some uh, surface cold front. So there's the cold front coming in, flowing down the Rockies. It does get over the mountains a little bit into the western slopes, not much further west than that, and not for very long. But with it comes a pretty good chance of precipitation Sunday and Monday Tuesday there comes Lee so 
of, over the next 14 days. Look at this huge high pressure ridge over the west just doing its thing, keeping us hot. Because our night times are very cool being at this altitude and being very dry. But uh, for a little while in the afternoon, we actually get kind of hot. Here's Sunday into Monday. The ridge is going off the uh, Baja coast. <clears throat> Here comes another little one. The northwest flow dominates, allowing air to come in. Here comes a lee. This is concerning. Some runs take it closer to the coast. This one actually looks like it strikes Maine and goes in. Uh, some models we'll see actually head for the uh, Gulf. So let's, let's take a look at the mo um, temperature. So surface 2 meter temperature anomaly. Hot, red is hot and above normal. Blues are below normal. Into Saturday we're above normal in the west. And then here comes the cold front and puts us pretty significantly below normal. Look at that cold air. That's pretty notable. We're going to feel that one right there through Tuesday into Wednesday still very cool and Thursday still east of the Rockies and south of us very cool then it finally starts to move out get some convection in the mountains for Friday Saturday next week we're right around normal a touch above normal another little cool shot there so we may see the heat kind of break <clears throat> looking at the precipitatable water over the same time period, very dry. That's why you have really 0% chance of showers right now. Here goes that um, hurricane off of the Mexican coast out to sea. We'll look at that closely. Then by Sunday, Monday, the moisture really comes in with that front. Obviously, Lee, ridiculous amount of moisture above normal. And then into Wednesday, Thursday, still east of the Rockies, and then spreading back in from the west. Uh, above normal water values. So we might just say goodbye to the heat and the dry for a while. We didn't want to get any fire started. Surface dew points aren't much until you get into the beginning of next week. This is very dry, 20s and 18s in the mountains, 30s and 40s on the plains. Going into Saturday, see this little ribbon of moisture trying to form. That kind of comes back with the front and we get some 50s. 60s out on the plains, 50s in close to I-25. So good good moisture for a little while. And looking at the precipitation, bone dry for Thursday into Friday and Saturday. Sunday, finally we get this front coming down. And she showers and storms start kicking off on Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. And still stuff happening into Wednesday. Thursday, some showers on the plains. Friday, stuff in the mountains and then a wave heading out. Here comes that hurricane. That's not good for Maine. And, you know, that's not far from New York and Massachusetts, Rhode Island and like that. So it's it's dangerous close. So over the next five days, not much happening. This is sort of the beginning of the uh, uh, weekend fronts influence. Much more moisture east of the divide over the next 10 days with really significant water amounts. Southern part of the state down here where we did have some drought and some precipitation down here. Where there were some drought conditions. 80s and 90s through Saturday, then a cold front moves in. 50-50 chance of showers each day with 70s and 60s beginning next week. I think this is Hova. It is a hurricane already and it is uh, heading out to sea. This is one that we're concerned about. Tropical Storm Lee. I just need, didn't have a chance to update it, but you can see the winds are 70. It's now 75 miles an hour. By the beginning of next week, it's going to be north of the of Puerto, Puerto Rico. You've got um, the Caribbean and the Bahamas over here, and like that. So most of the models take it to Cat 3 and 4, and a few even to Cat 5. We've only had so many handfuls of Cat 5s in history, recorded history, so this could be a big one. Uh, this is the uh, GEFs track you can see it kind of takes it on a 
the median line bends it around Bermuda and heads up and away, which would be really good. There are some runs that take it up into the East Coast and a couple runs, I don't know if that's persistence or what that is, uh, heading into the Gulf where it could start over the whole new threat to a whole new population. So um, let me go back here. So if this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so when we record again, it may be clearly curving or clearly threatening uh, by that point. So I will cover that here. Check out local news and frequent weather updates at longmountleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.